Welcome back to another video, and today, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a really good wheelie quad in off rails. As you can tell, it really is really good in high gear, and you can wheelie for a really long time. And it also wheelies really good in low gear, which I'll show you right now. I could ride this for a really long time, but I'm not going to because that's just boring to you guys. And now I'm going to show you something really cool about this quad that you can't really do with any other quad. It can wheelie in four wheel drive. Which is really cool. And I just stopped it there. So now let's go ahead and get started and let me show you guys how I made this build. So let's get started. Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you guys how I made this. So it's, kind of, it's supposed to be a Can-Am Renegade. But I guess that's just... I don't know, that's the closest you can make it to it. So now let's get over here to customize. First thing you guys want to do is you're going to want to get a snorkel. I like to use the three snorkels like that. I added a winch. I also made the headlights, this like the teal color to match the bike, and their horns. So now for the paint, I went with the uh, metallic paint for the silver that I did on the front. And then I went over to my rims and I got these rims. I painted them in black with a uh, with bead locks as a uh, as a chrome teal bead lock for the front and back. And then for tires, I just went with these tires for twenty five hundred dollars. And then for decals, I added I added a black square on the back just for like kind of like the rack. And then I put two Can-Am decals on the front, just like that, to make it Can-Am. And then, so we apply those. And then for upgrades, you just want to have everything maxed out. And I added a turbo. And then for tuning, for your tune suspension, you're going to want to go, well, this is on the front. Max it up to stage 5. For your axis width, you want .20. Your damping, you want that at 10,000. Your shocks, it doesn't matter. Your sock size is 2.3, your stiffness is maxed out, and so is your travel. For the back, your axis width is nothing, you don't add anything to it. Your damping is 10,000 maxed out. Your rear axle offset is 0 .06. Your shocks are the same as the front if you want. Your sock size, shock size is 2.3, your sniff, stiffness is maxed out, and so is your travel. For your wheels and tires, your wheel radius is 1.5, your wheel width is 1.0, and your rim size is 1.5, same for the back. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this build. I hope you guys liked it. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out my other videos.